What it is, what it is, it's Double C Crew, your boys, Eddie Chung Chung, and I am back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is? Some up, bang! 2022, we are here, ZCC family. We are here, we are live, and we are ready to get it going and popping. This is my first video, 2022. I know I took a little break. Uh, I did get surgery. This is my first video ever since my surgery. Got a big boy cast and all. This is a soft cast. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys how the surgery went and um, how life is for me moving forward. But let's go ahead and get a prayer and a thumbnail. I'm really, really hungry. I'm ready to dive in. Father God, I wanna thank you for this food that we're about to receive in our body. And then I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let's get a thumbnail. You know? All right. Let's go ahead and eat, y'all. Mm. Mm. I feel like. Mm. Like my uh, my setup's not right. Right now, I don't know why. I haven't been from the parent in a, in a while, y'all. But um, today I'm at a place called Oh My God Burger. And um, that was a great bite. Uh, that burger I just took a bite of was a sauce, 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 sassy jalapeno burger. Mm. And over here are their cheese fries. Which are also delicious. I also got the Nashville hot chicken burger with some special sauce, some jalapeno poppers, and also the habanero wings. Mm. Let me find out this place is a gym because these fries is hitting. That burger was a definitely a good bite. And this place is not too far from me. Oh my God, Burger. Mm. Real smooth location too. Kind of went inside, real nice and modern. And yeah, definitely a vibe. But um, What up to everybody in this new year? We in that twin, twin, twin. I ain't gonna say the right spot. <laughs> we in that 2022, man. Hopefully, 2022, we all be screaming, what a time to be alive. Hopefully, this year is great for everybody. Mmm. That sauce got some kick. Mm. Oh, oh no, I'm trying to eat with one hand. Mm. That sauce got it though. That sauce definitely got some kick. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Yeah, it's all pink popper for that. This place is so key good. And one thing that this place had, which I really love, all over their menu, is um, I know it's gonna sound very childish, but they have pictures all over the menu, which I love. Yes, I know how to read and. Yes, I can see the description of things and be able to tell what I'm getting, but a picture sells, sells a food item, you know? If it looks good, I want it. <laughs> I don't even need to know every ingredient in there. 
Wait, so let me, I don't know what that is. Wait, 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 probably some, well, something that they have to put in their burgers, probably all to keep it still, a little too thick. But let's go ahead and take a bite of this Nashville burger. Yeah, this is one of them chicken sandwiches that be going viral. Mmm. 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 They got good uh, sauce on there. Yeah, shout out to them when they got burger. They definitely did their thing. <clears throat> um, one thing I kept on seeing all over their, uh, all over their buildings is, uh, burnt, uh, meat is 100% grass fed, fed, so that's real nice. But ZCC family, that's surgery. Let me tell y'all about that. So, as you guys all know, I just had surgery right before New Year's. Man, it's New Year's. I didn't take a drink. I didn't have one shot. No glass of wine. No, no. I didn't party this New Year's. I was in a crib. You know, trying to recover. But, um, it's surgery day. I wake up. They told me the night before, well, yeah, the day before my surgery, I had an appointment. Uh, they gave me like certain soap. I had to take like two showers, one that night and one in the morning before surgery. And they wanted me to use a certain soap. We told me I couldn't eat nothing after 12 p.m., not even drink nothing, not even water. I couldn't take none of my pills, the antibiotics, the pain pills, none of that. So my pain was going crazy. And um, yeah. I didn't want me taking vitamins, not that. Well, that's even after 12 p.m., but even before then, like a week ahead of time, they didn't tell, they tell me not to take no vitamins, no fish oil, something that can make my my blood, my blood thinner in any shape or form. So um, I wake up like at six something, shower, get ready, totally to put loose clothes on, head to the hospital, get there at 7 a.m., and then I uh, get there, and then they uh, get me into this room. Have you put this gown on? And then uh, they just do a whole bunch of blood work on me and stuff of that sort. Doctors coming in, tell me about how this procedure is about to go. I met the anesthesiologist and I was meeting like a whole bunch of doctors. I met the whole the whole team at, at the hospital I was at pretty much. <laughs> mm. um, oh, man, this is hurting my mouth too. But uh, they would give me, um, tell me how everything was gonna go and ask me if I was allergic to anything, things of that sort. My, uh, my, um, I guess my surgery wasn't until like 9.45 a.m. I don't know why y'all had me coming in at 7 a.m. I could've came in at 9 a.m. Cause everything they did was really done in 45 minutes. It's just me sitting in the, in the, Laying in the bed in the patient room, watching TV, waiting as every doctor comes in and introduces herself. I'm like, y'all really can have me come at nine, and, and that could have been inserted at 9:45. <laughs> well, obviously, I'm not tripping. They do everything for a reason, but uh, how? <clears throat> I think my arm is real swollen and it's pushing up against right here. Now my arm is going crazy right now. But um, I do need to take my pain pills actually. I'm gonna take them right after this bill. Uh, so 
they uh, roll me down to the surgery room. Mm. I had an IV in me. Well, before the surgery, put the IV in me and uh, roll me down to the surgery room. Say so a whole bunch of bright lights and talking to me about something. Put this mask on me. And he asked me a question. I don't remember the question. And then I was out, out like a light. Um, they said the surgery took 70 something minutes. And I'm thinking that's kind of quick for surgery, but I guess that's not. And they was like, hey, well, the reason why it took us so long because it was very tedious. The break that he had to do was very tedious. Tedious kind of work, yeah. Connect tendons back together. And he had to bring tendons. I guess there's two tendons by your pointer finger that he had to bring down to my thumb. One of those tendons to my thumb to make, so I could be able to hitchhike my thumb again. And um, plus I had a broken bone and then, and then I had nerve damage. And uh, so I had a, a, some tendons rip, broken bone and nerve damage. And uh, he had to uh, fix all that. And he was telling me, it was before the surgery that nine, my, I couldn't, um, it probably was gonna take at least about nine months for me to have feeling back again. Cause nerve damage just doesn't happen right away. Fix right away, stuff like that. So, so okay, yeah, so, you know, surgery happens. And then uh, I wake up and they have me <laughs> in this room. Uh, I got flare. All anesthesia based patients are waking up. <laughs> and uh, the guy's asking me questions. I have no clue what he's talking about. And I remember me slurring my words and I'm feeling like I'm uh, I'm talking drunk. I I didn't feel drunk. I was talking drunk. I felt tired and fatigued. And he kept on asking me to sit up and sit up. And I was like, oh no, I can't sit up. It was too hot. I felt real nauseous. And you guys know that's a big bad thing for me. I hate feeling nauseous. And I started to feel real nauseous. Just sit. And I want him to sit up. Mm, I can't mm, throw up if I do. And um, I don't know. I was in and out. What's that? Yeah, I was in and out of uh, consciousness. Well, sleepingness, I guess. And then, um, yes, hours goes past, and I finally am able to get to back to my like my room. And then, um, yeah, the guy comes in. He's like, "Yeah, you were asking me all types of crazy stuff, man." And he was like, "You were saying." Hey, can you get me a fan and hold the fan to my face and just stay that way? And he's like, I was asking some re some crazy requests. Like, like I was like, oh, I need you to do this and I need you to do that and I need you to do this. So I guess I was asking all these requests for me to feel better and stuff of that sort. But he just found it hilarious. He's a really nice guy and stuff of that sort. But um, yeah, so my surgery happened at 9.40 something a.m. It took 70 something minutes, 75 minutes to get it done. I didn't leave that hospital to like, eight nine o'clock at night though and that was all mostly recovery time from the anesthesia um obviously when i woke up my arm felt crazy my arm been in crazy pain ever since you know swelling and my finger but i'm mostly feeling pain in my fingers out of all things pain in my finger this is the most not in the area where it's really hurt at where the damage happened it's a lot of pain in my fingers And now, I'm having a lot of, like, you know when you get trolley horses in your leg? I feel like I'm having those in my arm. I'm like, I'll have my arm in some position and I start feeling trolley horse in my old snap. It's heavy, it's heavy, I can't move, you know? In my arm. It's been real hectic. I don't know if I'm not getting enough blood flow. I feel like I'm not getting enough blood flow in this arm. I'm just glad it's not on my heart side. But um, I've been, you know, trying to keep it elevated, icing it, and then taking my antibiotics. My fingers are not in the back to normal color, but they are, they're getting lighter. 
back to my normal skin tone. You know, they're just like dark brown. But they told me I've been in the cast for uh, four weeks. Um, and this is not this cast cast, this is a soft cast. And they told me seven days later I had to come back for a hard cast. So I'm hoping that the four weeks started with the soft cast. I'm hoping, but it could be four weeks once I get into the hard cast. But some um, couple days away, two days away from it to be in, from it being the seventh, and I get my hard cast. I'm excited about that because just progress, you know. I'm just ready to get up out of this. I got a lot of things going on in my life, and me having one arm is not helping it at all. You know, you know what I mean? So it's just the fact that it's just progress, and even if it is four weeks after my hard cast, and not just four weeks in general, I'm still okay with it because at least we're moving on to the next step, the next phase of everything. You know what I mean? I'm ready to put this behind me, you know, to move forward with life. But um, I have some people helping me out during these during these times. So um, I really appreciate y'all, the people, you know who you are. And uh, um, I'm talking about actually physically helping me. You know who you are. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. But, um, no. This year is definitely going to be a different vibe for me. Definitely going to be a different journey. And this is not me, like, changing it. This is not, like, me saying, oh, I can't wait. This is New Year, New Me. This is, like, life, what life has handed me right now. You know, so... This year is gonna to be totally different for me with what the life has thrown at me and then it's gonna take some adapting to and some getting used to. But I'm ready to take on this challenge. I still hope I can make, you know, this year one of my best years for me. You know, I hope I can really get myself together and, um, Make myself happy. Come come to peace with a lot of things in life. But it ain't gonna be easy. Well we gotta hope. I'm hoping pray twenty twenty two is a better year for me. You know what I mean? Better year for me. All around with health, with financially, with uh, mentally, with emotionally. I need the 180. I need the 180, y'all. Uh. <clears throat> but like I said before in my last video, 2020, I said 2020, 2021 was still a great year for me. It's just a lot of bad incidents that happened. But during that year, it was some of the worst incidents that ever happened in my life to happen in that year. But still, I was the most blessed I've been that year. It's crazy to say. But most blessed I've been that year, but the most, the worst incidents that were to happen to me in my lifetime happened last year. But one thing I've been uh, not learning a lot about myself, I've been to myself, you know, I've been handling a lot of things on my own lately and I do better with that. You know, some people say um, it feels good to talk to people and tell people about your problems, you know, what's going on. It's not for everybody though, you know? Because me, as you guys all know, you know, you can ask my ex, I'm really not good with emotion. And a lot of people automatically think, oh, that's not good, that's not good. 
But to be honest, when I talk to someone about deeply what's going on and how I'm feeling, I don't feel good after telling someone. Like, I don't feel like, ah, oh, that was such a relief. It felt good to get this off my mind, to get this off. I don't feel that way. I don't, I don't, I feel uncomfortable, you know? I like handling my things and what's going on with me emotionally and within me, you know? I just like to handle it my way. You know, a lot of people will say, well, um, I don't know. I'm rambling. Y'all probably like, what are you going, what is going on? What are you talking about? I'm just saying people cope different. But, you know, 2022 is going to be great. I know I'm, I'm over here. I haven't ate that much. I haven't been eating that much. This is my first move bomb, legit. Since that, uh, I'm going to try to get this out today. So, if I do get this out today, which is, I'm going to try to get out today 100% guaranteed by tomorrow so you guys know this video is current current this right now it is december i mean not december <laughs> january 5th is it january 5th 2022 so i'm gonna try to get this out live live like tonight so y'all know okay yeah this is current current chunk this is this is the real deal holy feel you know but um other than that man I want to thank everybody for the well wishes. Well wishes. I want to thank everybody for for uh, checking in on me. Everyone who wished me a happy twenty twenty one. It's so hard even with a left hand. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, food is not as enjoyable with your left hand, and it sounds crazy because how's the food tastes different? It's just because you know how to place it in your mouth and you're doing the right tricks and tips with your hand when you're doing it with your with your dominant hand. Also, um, brushing my teeth does not feel complete without uh, my left hand. I mean, with my with my left hand when I brush my teeth. I feel like I'm missing something, like I'm not doing it right with my left hand. By the time I get done with this, I must be ambidextrous. <laughs> now, some of my, uh, some of my friend, I hope I go to the doctor's office in two days, and he will say, uh, he takes this off. I'm like, God, it's a miracle. You don't need a cast. And it's perfectly fine. You're great to go about your life. <laughs> no, it's highly. No, probably won't happen, but that would be great. I'm not looking forward to if I have to do hand therapy, which I'm more than likely going to have to, but. I wonder if you're doing, what is the hand therapy for? To learn how to use your hand again? Because I feel like I'm going to know how to use my hand. But is it, or is it for pain management? Because I'm about to still be in pain. And I didn't know how to work around that. You know, I was talking to my barber. And he was telling me uh, he got into uh, a bad accident. And uh, he had to reconnect tendons and nerves and all that stuff. And uh, his leg was messed up and everything. They told him, oh yeah, he's going to have to learn how to walk again. He's like, walk again? I know how to walk. Like, I know how to do this. Like, what do you mean? Like, I'm good. He said, it's crazy, but it's true. Like, when he tried to walk, he couldn't walk. And he had to go through therapy for that. I'm like, man, that's crazy. That's real crazy, B. Real crazy. But still, y'all, I hope you guys are still keeping me in your prayers. Please wish for a speedy recovery. Please wish I have full function in this hand. Please pray this hand, this arm, my right arm, my right hand, my right wrist, my right tendons back to health. I hope I don't have nothing missing, no missing functionality. Please pray that everything is great. I have this hand at full force. And I'm even worried about future now. I hope my hand's not like fragile from the rest of my life now. Like I say, if I, you know, working out, um, 
I don't think you guys didn't know about me. <laughs> and Nicole laughs so hard every time I, when I tell her this. I used to take martial arts. <laughs> and as in my adult life, not as a kid, like in my adult life, 25, 24, like taking 25 or 26, 20, probably it was between 24 to 26, I don't know where. I was taking martial arts, but I didn't do it to like learn how to fight. I was doing it like if I'm going to exercise and want it to be fun, I might as well learn a skill while doing it. So Nicole, his last question, she thinks I'm in class, like, oh, I'm just doing some Taekwondo stuff. But um, no, yeah. Um, so, so what I'm trying to say is, the whole point of me saying this is, uh, I go home and have, hands not fragile. Let's say if I want to take a boxing for exercising, I hope I can be able to hit a punching bag and not be in pain or feel like or be able to just pff, my hand just give out really easily you know <sighs> i'll be, be telling people i don't got my thumb anymore because my thumb is the thumb that doesn't move that means i'm not human no more this makes us human is opposable thumbs <sighs> this is hectic. Hectic, hectic, hectic. These wings are cold and I'm not bother. I want this burger. I want this burger. But, go on that comment section. How's everybody been doing though? How's everybody been rocking? I know you all haven't seen me in a minute, and I promise y'all, I promise y'all, like this, this um, this year, more vlogs than it was in uh, 2021. But I ain't gonna cap around to y'all. I don't want me to do that. I need to have my right hand. So hopefully, when it's back in action, full force. Also. I promise to shake it up. Now I know I'm always thinking of something. Something crazy to do to shake this channel up. <laughs> you know? And you guys know I'm, I will do it. You guys know I, do, I will come out randomly with something random and do something random. And I'll throw it at you guys and see if y'all if y'all bite on it. Hopefully y'all bite on this one, but. Channel gets shaken, uh, gets shaken up 2022. Um, right now, this year, now I'll talk, we're about to do this, um, I had a lot going on, um, I've been doing my next video, alright, I got something in this corner that's really going crazy, I think it's a piece of lettuce or onion, mm -hmm. mm. okay, y'all. Mm. That's really gonna annoy me, and I can't get it out with my right hand, and it's so hectic coordinated with my left. I'm gonna do it after the video, y'all. But ZCC family, I really appreciate it. I know I didn't eat that much. Oh my god, burger! You guys are great. I really rock with the food. I definitely recommend you guys go check it out. If you guys are in Texas, they have a few locations. But ZCC family, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is that Chuck Chuck. That is Z-A-D-D-Y-C-H-U-A-K. C-H-U-A-K. But ZCC family, as we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it! Showtime, the whole place hopping. Stay rocking, this for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever like I'm Bay watching.